guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Too Cute for Cancer. My name is Jody, and I have been living with stage four metastatic breast cancer for the past, well, almost eight years now. I keep say, saying seven, but in September, it will be eight years. Um, I have been battling cancer for 20 years, and that will actually be 21 years in September. <laughs> so, um, today's topic is one that for some reason, I didn't think I was going to have to discuss again. Bone pain and spine pain. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you will know that recently, uh, just several months, I was, the doctor declared me in remission. Yay! <laughs> There's no cancer in my body that can be found. Um, lab works stellar. Um, and I had been feeling like a million bucks, mostly, until I started trying to do things outside of my norm, or get back to my norm, I guess I should say. So it started with work. I wanted to go back to work full time is what my, my goal is, and I even applied for my old job back. Well, so this last week, I did kind of a tester to see how my body would do. Because I've been working like 12 hours, 18 hours, 20 hours, you know, 25 hours, and doing pretty good, feeling good. A little bit of spine pain at the end of my shifts, but I've been babying myself and taking lots of breaks and keeping ice on my spine while I'm working and, you know, just different things that I've learned to do to, to um, maintain. Uh, this last week, I decided to do a full week, 40 hours, well, 36 hours. So, 36 hours of interpreting. And I know people say, 36 hours, I can work that, no big deal. All you do is sit in a chair and blah, blah, blah. Mm, interpreting is you're sitting in one spot and you can't like, can't like move around. You can't, you know, while you're writing or typing or nothing, you're sitting in one spot, stationary because you're in front of a camera and you've got like a, a window here of, of uh, space to sign in and your, your shoulders and your arms are lifted. So, you know, try lifting your hands out like this for uh, eight hours and see how you feel. <laughs> so, and then you're, you know, of course, and then there's the mental um, work that goes in with interpreting. So anyway, it's a, it's a daunting task for anybody, basically, uh, we'll tell you interpreting for that length of time is really hard. So anyway, I did it. And I was all like, woohoo, I did it. Until the next morning. I got up the next morning, or I couldn't get up the next morning. I felt like I was back in, like, in the midst of the spine, uh, spine pain. I had, and just to let you guys know, if you haven't been following me, and you haven't caught up yet, I had, had a tumor uh, between my fourth and fifth vertebrae in my spinal um, column and it uh, called it caused uh, decompression of the spine and a whole bunch of other damage and then the cancer actually got into the bones of the spine and ate away at that so my spine is pretty jacked up <laughs> with or without cancer there the damage is done <sighs> so anyway I, I, I was in, I was in so much pain. I just, I laid there and I just cried and I felt like I was back at stage, at, at the beginning again, you know. So, I learned something. Um, after two days in bed, <laughs> I learned something. Um, just because you're in remission, doesn't mean that your body is done with cancer. Um, not only at any moment could it come out of hiding or I develop another tumor you know I don't know anytime that could happen um, another thing is the damage that my body has gone through in the last 20 years I mean eight surgeries so many different procedures I can't even count um, I mean it, the cancer eating away at the bones and then the cellular damage, the immune, um, you know, damage. It's just, it, it just is, is a lot. So I 
stopped myself and I started thinking, you know what? I can't do full time. I just can't. And you know what? I mean, I will never probably be able to go back full time. It just is not going to happen. So I was sad. I grieved. <laughs> um, still grieving over that, by the way. But you know what? That's okay. I'm alive. You know, I am not doing chemotherapy. I'm not doing treatments. I am doing one treatment that is coming up soon, and I'm really dreading it. And that's the bone infusion. That's out of all of the treatments that I had, chemo, radiation, immunotherapy, everything. Uh, the Zamita um, infusions are the worst for me. It is like enormous, sorry about that, enormous bone pain, um, fever, chills, nausea. I mean, I am not looking forward to it, but I have to do it because it needs, I need my bones repaired or you know strengthened and stuff. So I don't have a choice with that. And if I don't get my bones like stronger, I mean, if I fall off, like for example, this week um, we are going away with our entire extended family. Uh, we got an Airbnb up in the mountains and we are all going up, all 17 of us are going up for two nights and uh, three days. We are going to just hang out around the lake and just enjoy each other's company. So, I was thinking, all the kids are going on this uh, alpine slide thing where you just slide down the slide. It looks so easy, right? And I was so excited because I'm like, this year I get to go on it. Yay! You would think I'm a child really, but I'm not. I just love those things. Anyway, so my daughter-in-law tells me, oh, mom, you don't want to do that. It is like, I went down and it's painful. I wouldn't want to do it. No. Mm. So then I started thinking about, it. yeah, if I bump the wrong way or anything, my hip, if I, if I land the wrong way on it, I could break my hip easily because I also had a tumor in my, um, in my left hip. Uh, so I thought, well, I won't do that. I'll just watch the kids and have fun. Okay. So then, um, we are also doing a bike ride around uh, the lake, the family bike ride. And I thought, oh, that I can do. Then my husband says, honey, you can't do that. I'm like, sure I can. I feel good enough. I know how to ride a bike. And my husband's like, no, you know what? Just one tiny little fall, which people fall all the time on bikes and no big deal. They get back up. But if you fall and hit your hip the wrong way, he says, then you're going to be in the hospital and I have to have a hip replacement and, and you're going to be, you know, it's just not worth it. So I stopped and I thought, he's right, he's totally right. So th this week was a week of um, just enlightenment, let's just say. <laughs> a lot of realization this week. I can't go back to work full time. That is not gonna happen. Um, no bike riding around the lake with the family and no alpine slide for Nana. <laughs> But I get to go, I get to enjoy, because for the last lot of years, I would be home sick, curled up in bed watching the Waltons while my family went off and did all these fun things. And at least this year, I get to go. So I'm choosing to look at the positive. I'm choosing to look at the things. Bentley, hold on, that's my dog, he's playing. Bentley, come on, stop that silly dog. And now there's a siren. I'll try to edit some of this out, I promise. There's a firehouse close to our house. So, okay. So, I'm just going to choose to be grateful and I'm going to choose to enjoy the things that I can enjoy and not, you know, yes, grieve about the things I can't do but grieve and let it go and move on. Because if I sat there and just made a list of everything I can't do or things I've lost because of cancer, I would be a bitter Nana, <laughs> let me tell you. So instead of being a bitter Nana, I decided to be a positive Nana and a good role model and show the kids that, you know what, things don't always go your way and you just gotta suck it up and deal with it and move on. So.
that was my that was my realization for this week that's all I got for you but you know what I encourage you guys I know some of you are just barely starting out with this journey and you're scared and you're you're thinking why me why you know just what what is happening I'm too young for this you know what instead of doing that do a little bit of that it's okay instead of doing that make a list of all the things that are positive about your situation. And I bet you, you could probably outweigh the negative in most situations. And you know what, just dwell on those things. There's a, there's a Bible verse and it says, all that, it, you know, dwell on the things that are lovely, things that are pure, those things that are worth, you know, basically worthwhile to dwell on, dwell on that. So, you know, make, it has to be a choice. It just can't like just happen. You know, and I had one person say, oh, but that's your personality. You're always positive. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I am not always positive. And you know what? No, it takes a choice. I make a choice to be positive. I make a choice to, to see the positive, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So this week I challenge you, and anything that is negative going on in your life, there's a lot of negative going on in the world, with that, we can still choose to say this, and I'm gonna dwell on the positive. So that's my challenge for you guys this week. All right, now, if you have not already hit subscribe and you have not following my channel and would like to, go ahead and subscribe and set up that notification bell so you can get notifications for um, any and all my videos, okay. So, this week, remember, focus on the pop positive, whatever, whatsoever things are lovely, beautiful, focus on that. And let's see how we have, let's see how this next week turns out. <laughs> okay, you guys are awesome. This is Too Cute for Cancer, signing off for now.